Today I want to talk to you about les studios de la Victorine. The Victorine studios which are located in Nice, quite close to uh, the Nice airport, which is the, I think, the third biggest, largest airport in France after Orly and Charles de Gaulle in Paris. And so the Studio de la Victorine, the Victorine Studios, are basically the French replica of Hollywood. <laughs> That's a joke, but basically my family is from this part uh, of France, from Nice, especially my, my, my uh, father's uh, family. They are deeply rooted in this part of, uh, of France, um, the, um, the Nice region, uh, 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 the uh, Goberti family dates back from the Middle Ages and they used to live in Pei, which is a, uh, a, a tiny village up in the hills uh, above Nice, in the arrière pays as we say. And so um, they evolved and they came down to Nice uh, over the course of the generations. And I remember fondly when my uh, paternal grandmother talked about Les Studios de la Victorine, so the Victorine Studios, which are basically and my father as well talked about them, which were some uh, film studios in which quite a lot of films, uh, famous films actually, were shot back in the, um, in the 20s uh, up to the 60s um, in Nice, right, at this uh, Victorine Studios. And um, two years ago, I think in 2019, yep, they, um, or, or 2018, they actually um, held some port, uh, journée portes ouvertes, so some days where you could actually go and visit them. It was great, I uh, attended, and it re really was great. It was a fantastic PR um, uh, coup that they did, and a lot of people from Nice were there. I mean, I don't live um, in Nice on a daily basis, obviously, because uh, most of my time I'm in um, London or Paris. Uh, but um, yeah, as a you know, as as a, as a quasi uh, Niceoise, I went there and I had a fantastic time. It was really delightful. So basically, what happened is that um, Les Studios de la Victorine, those film studios, were bought by the uh, Nice Town Hall, the the mayor of Nice and uh, its his town hall, a few years ago uh, to. Um, uh, revamp them and also uh, revive them because the studios had been closed for quite a long time I think between the end of the 60s beginning of the 70s up to really now so not much had happened and they were just reviving you know the whole thing so when I was at the Cannes Film Festival on the um, 6th of July 2021 I attended a talk by the CNC, which is the equivalent of uh, the, um, the BFI um, in, um, in France, the uh, uh, Commission Nationale du Cinéma. And um, uh, 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 this talk was in English. It was really actually very good. It was uh, in particular with the producer uh, of the Matt Damon film Steel Water. She was there and she was one of the, um, of the speakers and um, I asked a few questions and in particular I mentioned the Victorian studios which I, I heard through the, the grapevine were quite busy um, and um, had a lot of filming assignments and uh, in my question and then um, during the talk the a lady came to see me, uh, Ms. Rosta Giroux and um, and she said, yeah, I'm the new CEO, the new chief executive officer of uh, the Victorine Studios. And uh, I understand that you had, um, you know, you mentioned the Victorine Studios. So I just wanted to present myself to you, etc. And um, let you know that uh, I'm here. And say, oh, this is really fantastic. Actually, I do a... Um, uh, a web uh, 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 a podcast um, through our creative um, industries law firm, Crefovi. Um, and would you like to actually read, record one of his podcasts, uh, episode 18, number 18, 18, um, about, you know, the Victorian studios and how they came about in back in the 20s and and what you are doing now with them, etc., etc. And she was like, yeah, 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 that, that sounds like great. And um, I followed up by email with her on the 6th of July, 2021. And after that, this woman, Ms. Rosta Giroud, who is, I understand, the new CEO of uh, the Victorine Studios, um, basically cancelled three times the, um, uh, 
uh, the uh, recording of a, of, of a podcast. So during the Cannes Film Festival, I understood that she was potentially quite busy. So I didn't take it personally, you know, and I waited for the end of the Cannes Film Festival before I followed up, sent her another email and said, okay, how about we do it now, either on Zoom or if you want, I can come to the studio de la Victorine in Nice um, at your convenience. And, and she was like, oh yeah, yeah, well, not right now, really. Let's, let's talk in September. And so I sent an email, I said, look, there will always be a reason for you not to do it, apparently. So I also copied in uh, Christian Estrosi in this uh, email because he's the mayor of Nice. And I think he needs to understand, you know, how the assets he bought for, the, for Nice, such as the Victorian Studios, are being managed by the people he actually put in place for such uh, management of, the, um, of, of, of this, such Nice assets, in particular the Victorian Studios. I uh, offered a uh, Miss Ostagirou and the um, uh, Victorian Studios uh, quite a, 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 an interesting platform and springboard to actually talk about, you know, their new philosophy, their new strategy, um, their projects, and um, here she was just, you know, basically quite squandering it. And after I sent this email copying Christian Estrosi saying that I was quite surprised by this attitude, you know, it's a yes and then um, passive aggressiveness through a terrible communication skills by basically, you know, then saying no. Um, so is it a yes, yes, or is it a yes, no? I mean, what is this? Is this like the British way of communicating where they, the Brits, they tell you yes, but actually it means no. So <laughs> a lot of the time. Anyway, so, um, and then I received an email from actually the public relations team of the whole PACA. Oh, nice saying, so what is it you want to do exactly? We we'll receive your email. And so there I go again, explaining that it would be a good idea to actually, um, you know, uh, register a good or some, uh, you know, basically uh, publicity um, um, for the Victorian Studios if uh, I had the opportunity to record a uh, podcast with a person who is in charge at the Victorian Studios. And there again, this woman from, uh, from the, um, uh, from the uh, prof public relations team of, uh, of, of the Nice and Paca uh, region uh, asks me, uh, basically just, she just, she just sent me the, the, the link to the Zoom call. I said, no, I'm sorry, I, I need to have control over this because I'm going to record that Zoom call. Uh, since Ms. Rostagiro wants to do it by Zoom call in 30 minutes on Friday afternoon, which is fine. Um, but I need to have, you know, uh, basically uh, control over this, uh, this Zoom call because then I need to edit it and to present it and, and to prepare it, you know, to edit the, the, uh, the Zoom call, which we will record. So I need to, you know, keep the control of that. So basically she wanted to... I've never felt so basically controlled and overmanaged um, uh, by, uh, than this time around when this woman from the, uh, uh, from the Nice and PACA public relations team started to also ask me the whole list of questions. So I said, yeah, sure, here is the hundreds and list of questions that I will ask to Ms. Giroux, uh, Rosta Giroux on uh, this coming Friday. And then she comes back to me and she says, um, how about, uh, we need to, we can't read you, your, 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 your list of questions. Uh, would you please transcript it in, um, in an email, your, your, you know, 20 questions? I was like, look, I never actually usually provide to my interviewees the questions in advance uh, because I want this podcast to actually feel, you know, uh, to feel fresh and, uh, and uh, spontaneous. Um, here, I have, to, to be agreeable, I've actually sent you a list of unwritten questions. Now you are telling me you can't even, you know, you want me to spend another 20 minutes writing down the list of 20 questions. I mean, I'm sorry, but I, I, I actually am a lawyer, you know, I don't do this for a living. My living is to actually advise clients for creative industries. And, and that's it, you know, they just cancel the whole thing. So, um, uh, just just on this on the pretense that basically I didn't send them the list of questions and um, and uh, uh, therefore I didn't comply with a super controlling um, uh, process. Rosta Giroux was probably extremely happy because then she didn't have to do the podcast, which she didn't want to do um, um, after, on reflection, I understand. And so here is my message to Christian Estrosi. This woman is, Rosta Giroux is completely incapable of doing the job. She doesn't have any entrepreneur, entrepreneurial skills and business skills to actually manage uh, a team and efficiently with ap appropriate communication skills and, um, and uh, a business like the uh, Victorine Studios. She is 
inappropriate for this job. And I think, Christian Estosi, it is time you realize this and you find someone who is actually a good entrepreneur, business person, but, you know, do not select a bureaucrat. This woman has worked for Vican Town Hall and the Nice Town Hall for the last 20 years. She's not up to the job. She's just a, an administrative person and a bureaucrat who doesn't take any initiatives, does some, does some politicking in and out and has some uh, appalling passive-aggressive communication uh, strategies. Um, just get rid of her and find someone else, Christian. You know, it's time you uh, come to... And also, you guys need to get your ducks in a row. Apparently, I, I, uh, the reason why probably this woman, Rousta Giraudin, want to do the, um, the podcast on reflection is because she doesn't have an absolute clue of uh, the strategy of the, uh, of the studio, Victorian Studios. So since one of my questions was, what's going to happen in the next five years for Victorian Studios? Um, she doesn't want to have to talk about that because she's, you know, they, 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 it is clear that the Nice Town Hall and um, the Victorian Studios have not done the legwork here. Um, to, um, you know, uh, rigorously prepare the uh, business plan. So, yeah, pretty appalling way to deal with a, a, a publicity opportunity here, um, demonstrated by the um, uh, team at uh, the Nice Town Hall and, um, and the uh, Victorian Studios. That's a shame, but um, hopefully they will get the message and um, change their ways and... Um, you know, work on uh, 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 improve, improving and um, take um, good, uh, uh, basically good knowledge, uh, knowledge of my uh, of this constructive feedback. I wish them well.